The former Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadzic has rejected genocide charges during closing argument as his trial in The Hague. He's accused of being behind the 1995 Srebrenica massacre, where more than 8,000 Muslim men and boys were killed. Simon McGregor Wood reports from The Hague. After five years, hundreds of witnesses and 10,000 legal exhibits, Radovan Karadzic finally had the floor to himself. He admits a moral responsibility for what happened, but he said the prosecution had no evidence of his own criminal responsibility. He accused it of lying and manipulation, and at times it got personal. Since a distinguished prosecution lawyer, Mr. Tiger, has no evidence, he's chose to tarnish my personality. He called me a liar and a mobster. But I believe it was with a heavy heart that Mr. Tiger decided to go for this kind of labelling. He probably wouldn't have done that if he had a single valid piece of hard evidence against Radovan Karadzic. The charge sheet is long. Two counts of genocide, others of murder, ethnic cleansing and crimes against humanity. The prosecution says he was the driving force behind the war that tore Bosnia apart. It left 100,000 dead and 2 million displaced. They want Karadzic behind bars for life. He says the court is a Western plot targeting the Serb people. Bad things happen in war, but he was not responsible. The relatives of those who died just want justice. We expect a fair judgment. That means Karadzic should be judged for a life sentence at least, and that he is responsible for genocide in Srebrenica. But not only there, we expect punishment for all those places where genocide happened. That's the most important. The central plank of the most serious charge, that of genocide, is that Karadzic planned and instigated the removal of Bosnian Croats and Muslims so that the Serbs could enjoy an ethnically pure space. But in court, he claimed he worked tirelessly for peace and, in his own words, was a true friend of Muslims. His American defence advisor claims his client remains positive and that his case is strong. Well, he accepts executive responsibility, but as far as individual criminal responsibility, when there's a person at the top who's trying to stop these kind of things, they're not criminally responsible. Karadzic's defence will continue on Thursday when he promises to deal with Srebrenica, where almost 8,000 Muslim men and boys were massacred by Serb forces, a crime he is accused of directing. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, The Hague.